Hello students, welcome back. This question is from gate 2002 exam. It is for two marks. They have given you this circuit and they are asking what is this output F. Also you have these four options. I have noted them down. Okay, so this one is a four ratio one multiplexer. These are the four inputs. You have one output. These are the two select lines A1 and A0. Also this is a multiplexer with enable signal. That means for output to be 1, enable has to be 1. The multiplexer must be enabled. If this one is not enabled, that means suppose enable signal is 0. In that case, output will surely be 0. We need not check anything. If enable is 0, simply say output is 0. That's the reason I'm writing enable and something. Okay, enable and equation for multiplexer, which means if enable is 0, we are taking and of enable and this thing, it will make entire thing zero. Okay, so the output will be zero if enable is zero. Now let us analyze how have I written this equation. See when both the select lines are zero zero, this input will be selected as output. Zero zero means a1 bar, a naught bar and i naught. So it is a1 bar, a naught bar, i naught. When their value is one, that means zero one. In that case, output is going to be I1. So we have 0, 1, I1. Similarly, 1, 0, I2. And on 1, 1, that means when both of these are 1, the output will be I3. Okay. So that's how I have written this equation. See, according to this diagram, when the select lines say the input is 3, we want I3 to be the output. Okay. Multiplexer will just give I3 an output. Let us see if it's actually true according to this equation. You substitute the values 1, 1. This one will become 0. This one will also become 0. This one will also become 0. 1, 1 means only this term will give you 1. And it is 1 dot 1 dot I3. Okay. So the output is I3. That means According to diagram also it is I3 and according to this equation also it is I3. That means this equation is perfect. Okay. Now this question is almost solved. Actually it was an easy one. We just need to substitute these values of I1, I2, I3 and so on. Okay. See enable is Z bar. So the output will be Z bar and a1 bar, A0 bar, I0. Let us substitute. A1 is Y bar. So it is Y bar double bar. See, A1 is already complement of Y and we want its complement. Okay. The next one is Z. A0 is Z, but we want complement of Z. Okay. And I0. I0 is X. Okay. Similarly, I'm substituting all of these values. You can have a look at that. Okay, so you can see I've substituted all these values and this is what you are going to get. Now, you know, if a Boolean variable is complemented twice, we can ignore the complement. Okay. So y double complement will be equal to y only. From here also I am ignoring this double complement. Okay, that's it. Now you can see if you multiply z complement with this term, it will be y z complement x plus. Now multiply z complement with this term z complement dot z will become 0. Okay, so this term is 0 plus this term is already 0 because it has y into y complement. Okay, so this is already 0. Now this one multiplied with this will also become 0. See, it has z complement and this one has z. z complement dot z is obviously 0. So this is your answer. It is option A, X, Y, Z complement. So your answer is option A. Okay.